time for Family Feuds Money Madness Tournament, where one of eight families could win up to $120,000. Introducing the C family. Dolphin, Jenny, Chuck, Karen, and Gator. They should go up against the Cunningham family. Bless, Allison, Dallas, Mackenzie, and Zoe. You're about to see these two families battle it out for tens of thousands of dollars and some bragging rights. Because it's time to play the Family Feud Money Matters Tournament. And now, here is the star of our show, Ty Riker. <laughs> Thank you. This means so much to me. You're too kind. I'm being dead serious. Yens have no clue what the two years have meant for me. You guys changed my life big time. And I just want to thank God for giving me the privilege to do this. I also want to thank my bank account for being destroyed paying for this premium subscription. Welcome to the very first episode of Family Feuds Money Madness Tournament. In this tournament, four families and four teams will have a chance to compete for big money and a huge jackpot of up to 120k. And just look at the place, with all of these balloons and streamers. Our decorators did a pretty good job in here. Let's go meet the C family. <laughs> wow Dolphin, we almost match. Well, we are pretty darn close. You can say that again. You know that the real life you wanted to make me look similar to him. And it looks like he updated you to look similar as well. Interesting. Mind introducing your family? Not a problem at all. I'm Dolphin, and as you know, I am a fourth grade teacher at Vian Elementary School. That's my beautiful fiancée Jenny, she's a painter, and a wonderful artist overall. She is great at portraits. Over there we have my cousin Sharky, a card dealer at a casino. Well, he's now literally, a card shark, without the cheating. Over there we have my soon-to-be sister-in-law Karen. She's essentially the craziest on our team. And finally, my other cousin Gator, he is the owner of the Lucky Juice Factory here in the city. Thank you for that. And now let's meet the Cunningham family. Greetings. You guys have seemed like a really energetic family. That sounds like a pretty accurate statement to be completely honest. We've definitely prepared for this. I mean, 120k? That could help us afford a new house if we truly wanted to. Very interesting. Mind if you introduce your family? I was just getting ready to do that. I'm Blaze, and let's just say, I actually like to cause some trouble. We have over there my mother Allison, my redneck father Dallas, my sister Mackenzie, and my little baby sister, Zoe. <laughs> Can we not today? We have a game to play. Zoe's right. We need to get our game faces on. Are you ready? Yes. How about you see family, ready? You bet. Are, Jens, ready? Yeah! Then what are we waiting for? Let's, play, the feud. I need Dolphin and Blaze. <laughs> Alright, you know the drill. We've surveyed 100 people, top 6 answers are on the board, give me the most popular answer. Besides a Tyrannosaurus Rex, name a dinosaur kids learned about in school. Dolphin. Stegosaurus. Alrighty, let's see if it's up there. Stegosaurus. That answer was not the top answer. Blaze, do you have a better response? Triceratops. Good answer. Triceratops. Blaze's answer did not talk, so you guys will be in control. Pass or play? We are playing. Alright then, let's play. Alright Jenny, besides a Tyrannosaurus, name a type of dinosaur kids learn about in school. Pterodactyl. Alrighty then. We are looking for a pterodactyl. Good job Jenny. We go to Sharky next. Besides a Tyrannosaurus, Name a type of dinosaur kids learn about in school. Megalodon. 
You know, I remember the Megalodon being a shark, not a dinosaur. It's fine. I was thinking prehistoric and extinct for that answer. Alright, we'll allow it. Show me, the Megalodon. <coughs> Alright Karen. Besides the Dinosaurus, name a type of dinosaur kids learn about in school. Nigerosaurus. All right, show me, Nigerosaurus. <coughs> All right, Gator, you guys are on your second strike. The Cunningham family is getting ready to steal. Besides the Dinosaurus, name a type of dinosaur kids learn about in school. A Brontosaurus. I like that answer, but we have to see if the survey agrees. Brontosaurus? <coughs> Number one answer. I like that. Okay Dolphin, you still have two strikes, so you're gonna want to be careful as the Cunningham family is strategizing like mad. You know the question, answer away. Gee Willikers, this is hard. We are going to go with a Brachiosaurus. I like that answer. It's like a Brontosaurus but much heavier and bigger. Let's see a Brachiosaurus. Ooh, that's too bad. Now Blaze. Your family has a chance to steal the points. Besides a T-Rex name a type of dinosaur kids learn about in school. There was a lot of thought put into this. A Velociraptor. That's a really darn good answer, but is it enough? Velociraptor. What was number six? Wait, what? I mean, he is, in fact, a dinosaur, but I don't know if that's what we meant. Let's disregard that and move on to question two. I need Jenny and Allison. Once again, top six answers are on the board. Dolphin, you're gonna be on thin ice with this question. We surveyed 100 married men. Name the one woman in the world you'd leave your wife for. Allison? Angelina Jolie. Okay. Angelina Jolie. That's the number one answer. Pass or play. We're playing. They're gonna play. All right, Dallas. You're also in hot water here. We asked 100 married men to name the one woman in the world you'd leave your wife for. Selena Gomez. That's not a terrible answer. Selena Gomez. Alright Kenzie, only one strike. We asked a hundred married men name the one woman in the world you'd leave your wife for. Taylor Swift. Get out. <laughs> Listen here you don't ever talk about the most overrated singer in history. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Sweet relief. Alright Zoe, you guys have two strikes, and the C family is getting ready to steal. Emily Blunt. Not a bad answer by any means. Emily Blunt. <coughs> Alright Dolphin, it's your turn to steal the 24 points. We asked a hundred married men to name the one woman in the world you'd leave your wife for. I'm guessing because of the era this question must have taken place in, we'll go with Jessica Simpson. I really like the critical thinking, but is it enough? Jessica Simpson. What were the remaining answers this time? Alright, so after two rounds we have the C family at 24, and the Cunninghams in the lead at 78. But we are just chatting started. Don't go away. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back to Vian Family Feuds Money Madness Tournament. We have the Cunninghams at 78, C's at 24, but it's anyone's game. I need Sharky in Dallas. All right, for this survey the stakes are higher, cause we are doubling the points. Top 5 answers are on the board. Name a movie with talking animals. Sharky. Madagascar. 
one of the greatest films ever, and it features soon-to-be-slapped Chris Rock, Madagascar. <laughs> Dallas, do you have an answer that could beat that? Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web. Oh. How is that not even an answer? We're gonna play. I don't know, Dallas. I don't make the rules. All right, Karen, name a movie with talking animals. Finding Nemo. That's a really good answer. Show me Finding Nemo. Oh. All right, Gator, you're still alive only one strike. Name a movie with talking animals. The Lion King. Great classic. The Lion King. Momentum is back up. Dolphin name a movie with talking animals. Alice in Wonderland. You guys seem to really know your Disney classics. Alice in Wonderland. Oh. All right, Jack. You've got two strikes. One more and the Cunninghams get a chance to swipe the points. Dang, this is intense. Let's go with Dr. Doolittle. Really good answer, but does the survey agree? Light it up. That's what the hell I'm talking about. All right, Harky, back to you. Let's try, Shrek. Okay, not bad. Shrek. All right, Karen, things are looking better, but you're still in jeopardy. Babe. Wait, babe. You know, the movie about a pig that wanted to be a sheepdog. Oh, I remember now. If it's there, you guys are good to go. Show me, babe. The C's pick the lead at 222, Cunningham still have 78, but it's still up for grabs. Don't go away. What's your favorite animal movie? Welcome back to the feud. The game is getting much more intense as you all can see. The C family has the lead at 222, and the Cunninghams are trapped at 78. I need Karen and Kenzie. Alright, for this survey, I'm tripling the points. Top 4 answers on the board. Now pay close attention, as I'm only, and repeat, only, reading this question once. Name a place parents should not be allowed to bring babies. Karen. The movies. No way that ain't number one. The movies. Then, top answer. Can't or play? Of course we are gonna play. And she's on her way. <laughs> All right, Gator, I can feel the energy in this family. What's your answer? Restaurant. A restaurant? Yeah. All right then. Restaurant. Nice job. All right, Dolphin, we come to you. The grocery store. Good answer, Dolphin. Let's see if it's up there. Grocery store. That's all right. It's all good. Jenny? How about church? I mean, babies need to shut up when the preacher is preaching. Church? Okay, Sharky. There's only one answer left. If it's there, your family wins the game and moves on in the tournament. If not, you're still alive. A school concert. Heck yeah. Let's see if everyone else is absolutely correct. School concert. <laughs> All right, Karen. Here's the deal. There is one answer left. If it's there, your family wins and moves on. But you have to be extra careful since you have two strikes. If it's not there, the Cunningham family will have a chance to steal and force sudden death. What is your answer? Okay, this seems a bit edgy, but I'm gonna go with a spa. That's a really good answer. When you want to relax, but you have screaming kids, that can be a pain. Show me, spa. <laughs> Cunningham family? Here's the deal, and I just got done explaining to the C's. One answer left. If it's there, you steal the points, and we go to sudden death. However, if it's not there, the C family wins the game. Blaze, it comes down to you. 
All righty tie, we're thinking a little outside the box, you wouldn't really take your kids here anyway, work. Okay then, if work is there you have taken the points. Show me work. Alrighty, so nobody has reached 300 points, which means we are going to play, Sudden Death. I need Kato, and I need Zodi. Alright you two. For this survey, we ask for the top answer, and the top answer only. Whoever gets this, not only wins the game, but will also, move on, in the money, madness, tournament. Good, luck, to you both. Name, something, you, wind up. Zoe. A toy. Alright, a toy. <coughs> Alright Gator, what do you got? A clock. For, the, win, a, clock. You're moving on. You guys did so, amazing today. Thank you for coming on our show, and we hope to see you again. It was our pleasure. Thanks for having us. Alright C family, who's playing fast money? I got Sharky, and I got Karen. When we come back, we're gonna play Fast Money to add 20k to the jackpot. You don't wanna miss it. Welcome back to Vian Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. The C family has won the game, and now they are going to play Fast Money for a shot to add $20,000 to the jackpot. Alright Sharky, Karen's off stage so she cannot see or hear your answers. I'm gonna ask you 5 questions in 30 seconds, try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of an answer, say pass, and we'll come back if there's time left. Now, if you and Karen can come up with 200 points, Tell everybody what you're gonna add to the tournament jackpot. Twenty. Thousand. Dollars. <laughs> Alright Sharky, let's do this. Time will start after I finish reading the first question. Name something a person might do on an airplane to pass time. Sleep. Name a famous Fred. Douglas. Name a brand of sneaker. Adidas. Name an animal associated with Australia. Um, um, pass. Give me an American city that starts with the letter D. Dallas. Name an animal associated with Australia. Um, kangaroo. Right, and the puzzle. Let's see how we did. Okay. I ask you to name something a person might do on an airplane to pass time. You said... Sleep. Survey says... 29. Not bad. I then ask you to name a famous Fred. You gave me... Frederick Douglass. Very good answer. Survey says... That's alright. Name a brand of sneakers. You said... Adidas. Survey says... Good, good. Name an animal associated with Australia. You said. The good old kangaroo. Survey says. 51. And then I asked you to give me an American state starting with the letter D, and you gave me. Dallas, Texas. Beautiful city but stupid football team. Survey says. Ben. Clear the board. We're gonna do no time. Alright Karen, you're going to be shocked when I say this. Sharky got you 122 points, you just need 78. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay Karen, this is how it's going to work. I'm gonna ask you the same 5 questions. You are not allowed to duplicate any answers, if you do you will hear this sound. 
I will say try again, and you give me a different answer. This is going to be a little bit tougher so we're gonna give you 35 seconds. Got it? Reesh. Alrighty. Let's remind everyone of Sharky's answers. And your 35 seconds will start after I finish reading the first question. Name something a person might do on an airplane to pass time. Watch a movie. Name a famous Fred. Fred Rogers. Name a brand of sneaker. Nike. Name an animal associated with Australia. Kangaroo. <coughs> Try again. Um, um, goala. Give me an American city that starts with the letter D. Dallas, Texas. <coughs> Try again. Um, Denver, Colorado. That works. Okay. Let's see if that adds the money to the jackpot. I ask you to name something a person might do on an airplane to pass time, and you said, watch a movie. Survey says, 18. By the way, reading a book, reading a book is the number one answer. Name a famous Fred. You said, Mr. Fred Rogers. How could that not be worth any points? Survey says, Well, that was disrespectful. Flintstone. Flintstone was number one. Name a brand of sneaker, you said. Nike. Survey says, Bang. And that was the number one answer. We are 15 points away. Name an animal associated with Australia and you said. The koala. Fun fact of the day, koalas aren't actually bears. They are in fact marsupials. If that fun fact is worth 15 points, you guys add 20 G's to the jackpot. Survey says. You did it. was, in fact, the number one answer. In the U.S. city starting with E, Denver, Colorado. Karen had the two. That's $20,000 added to the tournament jackpot, and these guys are moving on in our tournament. They'll face the winner of our next show. You don't want to miss it. Tie right in our saying bye for now.